finally got my Raspberry Pi installed in its touchscreen case. There it is. I have had it hooked up and attached to the TX81Z so that it's functional. I have a SysX patch editor called Edison that so far has demonstrated that it works. I have added a wireless mouse and keyboard from Logitech. It's available for the $30 range from Amazon or CDW is where I got this one. It uses very little power. Transmit wirelessly to the keyboard and to the mouse, which draw their own power from batteries, prevents the lightning bolt from appearing on the Raspberry Pi. You can see I have two power supplies right now. I haven't figured out how to power it completely, but when you add the MIDI interface, there is a lot of juice being drawn. And with the emulators, it's using a lot of processing power. So this is the Edison patch editor. We'll select the TX81Z because that's what we have. I'm going to run that interface. I don't have the MIDI attached, so we're going to run disconnected for now. And you can see that the screen cuts off at the bottom. And even when maximized, you get a little bit of the controls slightly cut off at the bottom. You do have a scroll bar, which is not convenient for uh, editing purposes. I'll modify them so that they fit the Raspberry Pi touchscreen very, very small resolution that it was never intended for. You can see there's plenty of room in length, but not in height. I have read the documentation. It is open source. There is a documentation on how to create new synthesizer panels, if you are inclined to do that. And it's very good documentation that should allow me to create this panel again in a form factor that is convenient for the Raspberry Pi touchscreen. Another option I wanted to add was the ability to remove these menus, because once they're on and working, you don't necessarily need them, and the title bar as well. So it should be conceivable to remove those. I have, in the past, tried to make my own. I was experimenting with knobs of my own design in Java, and different sizes and so on. You can see this one's cut off there. So I have the ability to do it, I just haven't gotten around to it. And there it is, Yamaha TX81Z disconnected. And then there are the additional panels. And once I get it sized properly, I'll do a whole proper uh, how to and what to expect video. In the meantime, it's working remarkably well. You can see down in the bottom here, I've added a penny so you get a grasp of the dimension that we're dealing with on the screen. So that's a penny, a US penny, and there is the control, which is much smaller. Smaller than a dime, even. So as you come to touch it with your hand, it does work. But the fine-tune controls don't exist, so another thing I wanted to add was the ability to nudge it. So it doesn't have a left-right nudge feature. It also scrolls up and down instead of side to side. Depending on the user, I'd prefer both. I'm not positive if my knob program has up and down and side to side. It also has a touch, but it doesn't have a nudge. On um, a lot of good knobs for touch screens, you would touch the left side and it would tick up by one, touch the right side, it'd tick up, tick down by one.